Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with Ubitech.com, and welcome to my 16th video recorded on Sunday, June 26th, 2016. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the cursor in CAD Soft Eagle so that it's the large cursor instead of this small cursor that we see here. Uh, you can also call it the crosshairs as well. So to change it from the default setting of small like we see here and again uh, default just means the configuration that it's set to when you first install the program. So what we need to do to change it from this small cursor that I have here to the large cursor is to single left click on the options menu either in your schematic window or your control panel window in Eagle and again I'm uh, running Eagle version 7.6.0 Lite so I'm gonna single left click on the options menu then I'm gonna single left click on user interface and right here we have two sections in the user interface dialog box one that says layout and this applies to uh, laying out printed circuit boards or PCBs and then we have another section titled schematic and this applies to when you're uh, routing your schematic. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a cursor right here, and we, right now it's set to the default setting of small, and then uh, down here we have cursor, and it's also to set to the default setting of small. So to set it to large, just single left click on the large radio button up here, and uh, do the same for uh, the layout of schematics. You can single left click on the large radio button here and then just single left click on the OK button. So now we have this large cursor which extends all the way from the top to the bottom of the window and from the left to the right of the window. Now why might you want to use this type of cursor? Well for me the reason why I like it is I can kind of tell for example say I want to um, select and delete resistors R1, R3, and R4 in this diagram, but I don't want to uh, delete R2. So I'm going to single left click on the group button, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the left mouse button, I'm going to drag it, but what I want to do is I want to get just to the point where I select R1 but I don't want to go past the little selection crosshair or the little selection point for R2 as you can see right here it's kinda a little difficult to see but there's a little cross where the center of the resistor is so I want to go just in between the center of the resistor er, for R1 and the center of the resistor for R2 Okay, so I don't want to select R2, but I do want to select R1, and I want to select R3 and R4. Okay, so if I let go, you can see that R1, R3, and R4 are selected. Okay, and let's see if we can delete that, delete those three. All right, and so I'm going to have to hold down the left mouse button and then just single left click actually no I think I have to let's let's escape out of that we need to hold down the control button or the control key then single right click to delete those three and there we go okay so I just uh, selected three resistors that were kind of in line with each other but not quite and I was able to not select the one that I wanted to keep. So let's see another example of why you may want to use these large crosshairs. Okay, so now I'm in the PCB layout editor of Eagle, and another reason why you may want to use these large crosshairs is that they help you to align components when you're placing them. So say for example, I want to line up R3 with R4, R2, and R1, I have the move command selected. Okay, I did that by single left clicking on the move command. 
And then I'm going to single left click on R3 and just move it to the left. And as you can see, the large crosshairs or large cursor help to show you that the different components or that the four different components are definitely lined up with, e with each other. Um, you can also uh, get a good indication of this by uh, the fact that you have the grid up here. Okay, so the grid helps you to kind of snap them into place, so that's a good help as well. But if you have uh, a fine grid setting and you have the large crosshairs set or the large cursor set, it will help you to line up components either vertically or horizontally with each other. So as a comparison, let's just see what it looks like when we try to align R3 with the other resistors on this board by using the small cursor. So I'm going to single left click on the options menu again. I'm going to single left click on user interface. Then since I'm doing the printed circuit board layout, I'm going under the layout section here and I'm going to single left click on the small radio button. Then I'm going to single left click on the OK button. And then now let's try to move R3 so that it's vertically lined up with the rest of the resistors. So I'm going to single left click on it. And then just drag it over. Now this layout is pretty simple and the grid side is there excuse me, the grid size is set so that it's fairly coarse. But if the grid size was fine, it would be a little bit harder to tell if R3 is perfectly lined up with the centers of R4, R2, and R1 with this small cursor because the cursor simply doesn't extend the full height and the full width of the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll set it back to the large cursor. I'm going to hit the escape key. Then I'm going to single left click on options again. Single left click on user interface. And then just single left click on the large radio button under layout. And we already have it set uh, to the large cursor under the schematic section. So then all we have to do is just single left click on OK and we have the large cursor or crosshairs again. My name is Bobby Galuba with ubatech.com. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you learned something. Take care.